What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Life versus Lymphedema. I know, I know, it's been a while. I don't feel like making excuses, but I'm gonna anyway. Still mixing this one video that's proven to take it a lot longer than I would have hoped. And when you see it, you'll understand. But in the meantime, in between time, I have been depressed. Um, I've been reading up on imposter syndrome and body dysmorphia. Imposter syndrome is when you feel like a fraud because things are going well in your life. You don't want to receive them because you don't believe those good things are meant for you. I'm dealing with that right now. And body dysmorphia, I don't like the way I look in the mirror. I don't like the way I look on camera. And it's not because I'm not getting healthier. It's because I've been so used to the way I look for so long. It's hard to imagine me not looking like this. It's difficult. So when I see myself, I'm like, ooh, is that me? Hmm. But today, I don't feel like being in the house and being depressed. That's what I've been for the last week. I've been coping by playing video games. I recently beat Legend of Zelda 2. Right there. Um, I got my sights set on Mike Tyson. Playing a lot of Nintendo. So I refuse to play PlayStation until they release Grand Theft Auto 6. But, today, I'm going out to play poker. Now, I go out and play poker two or three times a week. But it's always somewhere very close to my house, somewhere very safe. Today... I am venturing. Today I'm going to be traveling 17.8 miles from my home to play in a tournament and play around people that I haven't seen since before I had the surgery. There's going to be lots of people looking at me going, damn, you lost weight. What did you do? You finally got your life together. And I have to act like stuff like that doesn't bother me. But what I'm also going to do is for the first time since my surgery, I'm going to wrap my damn leg and take care of it. Now I'm not going to do a full wrap. I'm just going to do a partial wrap. And this video is not going to be about me wrapping my leg. It's going to be about my day. So you're going to get me here. You're going to get me in the car. You're going to get me at the poker tournament. You're going to get me on the way home. And when we get home, we're going to see how my leg looks. So first, we're going to get some music. And then we're going to get the long shot of my leg. The first thing I'm going to do is because my plan is to be out for about six hours, I'm going to powder my creases, something I haven't done in a while. I'm going with uh, Desinex today. Antibacterial, triple action, just to keep anything out of there because, like I said, it's going to be wrapped for a while. Tight sleeve. Tight sleeve immediately around my leg. Hmm. Talk about manageable. Normally I have to get on the ground to do that. So the first thing you're probably asking is where's the gray foam? No gray foam today. And the reason there's no gray foam is because I'm going to be wearing sweatpants. I'm not going to be wearing this. I'm going to be wearing black sweatpants over this. So I don't want it to be, I want it to be tight but not bulging. That way, if my leg starts to swell, I can actually tell. Bars. Ooh. This thing is like, yo, what are we doing? Oh, you putting me on? Damn, bro, it's been a while. Anchor at the top. Wow. Even though it's been a while, it's still smaller. So sometime next week, I'm going to have to adjust it. Oh, wow. Definitely gonna have to adjust this. 
and then sleeve over it. Ah. All right, leg all wrapped up. What comes next? Well, normally I get dressed and go, but because I just had the surgery, there are some extra precautions I have to take. That brings us back to the go bag. So, it's time to make this trip. I got my go bag. What's going in my go bag? Because I just had bariatric surgery, they always say, never trust a fart. You never know if I'm out somewhere and I eat something that doesn't agree with me, whatever the case may be. Fresh boxers, fresh wipes, change of clothing. Here I have my trusty black shorts because no matter what, it's going to be uh, 80 degrees a day. So even if I have to take off my wrap because it's uncomfortable, I'll probably end up putting these on. Throw that in there. Back up Blue Hurts House shirt. And I always want to leave a little bit of room for my wraps in case I do take them off. Side pockets. My side pockets is going to have back up Frozen Gatorade. And I was going to take this um, Green Goodness Fruit Smoothie, but I think I'm going to drink this now. I think I'm going to drink this right now. And my Fiji water is going to be shotgun with me in the front seat. So Gatorade in the side pocket. Side net pocket, deodorant. Side pocket. It's going to have my backup charger. It's going to have my backup camera stand in case I had to do some edits or some filming from the poker table. Backup headphone kit in case I decide I want to do some editing. Backup battery pack in case I'm sitting somewhere where I can't charge my phone. That is the go bag. Let's get on the road. We are 45 minutes into the trip. There was an accident on the highway as there typically is in Northern Virginia. Uh, so I am running about 15 minutes behind, but that's why I left about a half an hour earlier than I needed to for situations like this. It's 2.15 now. Uh, the event starts at three. I was hoping to be there by 2.30. Now I'm hoping to be there by 2.45. The first thing I noticed is that even though I've been in the car longer than normal with my leg, I feel pretty good. My leg feels pretty good. Wrapping it was definitely the move. And um, it's actually time for some Gatorade. So yeah, doing pretty good. So it's 2.50. I got here about 10 minutes ago. Uh, tournament starts in 10 minutes. Lots of fierce competition here, but you know, I'm pretty focused. The drive was good. My leg is okay. I had no problem walking in. I didn't even bring my cane with me. We'll see what happens. It is five minutes to midnight. I stayed out longer than I wanted to. See this Fuji wa Fiji water? right where I left it on the couch. I did not eat enough. I did not drink enough. And I don't know the dizziness that I'm feeling, if it's from lack of protein or lack of fluid. Tomorrow's gonna be a healing day for sure. As for my leg, it didn't give me a lot of trouble, but as you can see, it's chewing my reduction kit. Let's unwrap it and see what it looks like. Keep in mind, this is my first time going out like this um, since the surgery. So, 
it's about the same size it was earlier, but with two key differences. This is not jiggly and fluffy like it was this morning or this afternoon. It's harder. This one's still kind of soft, but more solid. This is a brick. So, the conclusion I come to is that my leg wasn't getting better because I'm losing weight. My leg was getting better because I just had surgery and I'm not active. It's demoralizing. It really is. Because I thought we were having a breakthrough. So, tomorrow's a rest day. Tomorrow's Monday. It's a rest day. This video is going to go up. So, by the time you're seeing this video, I'm resting. <sighs> Tuesday, I have a poker tournament. Wednesday, I have a poker tournament. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all rest days. Do stuff. It's really disappointing because I really thought we were on to something. Doctors have been telling me if you lose weight, your leg will go down. And people have been asking, How's your leg doing? Doctors have been asking, How's your leg doing now that you, you know had the surgery? And like it's going down. But I also said to them, I'm like, also, I'm not clear to go out and live my life the way I want to. Even the first time I went and played poker, after I told my doctor, he was like, whoa, you're, you're three weeks post-op and that's supposed to be out. You're supposed to go for short walks and go back home and lay down. But I'm learning and this tells me two things. One, I need to wrap my leg more often when I'm going out and two, I'm going to have to utilize that pump. And you all will be seeing that when it happens. I'll catch you later on. Damn. This is the Her House Podcast. That's my daddy.